My name is Kyle Gray. I'm Logan Helmuth. We're both firefighters with the Salisbury Fire Department. Uh, with Thanksgiving fast approaching, we'd like to educate the community on safe cooking tips uh, when you're either cooking your turkey in the kitchen or uh, frying your turkey. Today, um, we're going to talk about how to cook, safely cook your turkey in a fryer um, and talk about some of the tips with that to make sure that your family's safe this Thanksgiving. Uh, first thing we want to talk about is your propane tank. You want to make sure that you have a full tank, that it's the max distance away from the fryer. Whenever we're um, setting our equipment up, we want to make sure we have a level ground. Uh, once we set our cooking base up, we want to have it on a non-flammable material if we can. Make sure that it's level, that it's stable. Um, we want to make sure that our pot sits on the uh, cooking base correctly, that it's not going to spill over. When we, uh, once we get our turkey... Okay, uh, do that when, to start when we get our turkey, just start that again. Okay. Uh, when you buy your turkey in the store, first thing you want to do is we want to thaw that turkey. So it's going to take a few days in the refrigerator to thaw it out. Once it's thawed out, you want it to sit for 12 hours and get to room temperature before we go and put it in the fryer. Um, once your turkey is thawed out, you're ready to fry it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to measure how much oil we're going to need on our fryer. So Firefighter Gray is going to uh, show us how we'll do that. First thing we'll do is we'll take our turkey and we'll actually place it in the, uh, in the fryer. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that there's not too much oil in the fryer. So he's going to simulate the oil with water and you can do the same thing at home. We'll dump the water in the fryer until the water level covers the turkey. Once the water level has covered the turkey, like so, what we'll do is we'll remove the turkey from the fryer. And that will give us our appropriate level of oil for frying your turkey. At that time, you can take a Sharpie or something to uh, scratch the side of the pot to see how much oil you need. Once we've done that, we've actually already marked it inside. We can dump our water out. We want to make sure that we clean all the water out of the pot and off the turkey. We'll go ahead and take our oil. We'll fill the pot back up. Once we fill the pot to the appropriate level with oil, we'll turn our flame on and we want to bring the oil up to 350 degrees. Once we've brought our oil to the right temperature, we want you to turn the flame off. So you can turn your gas off so that the flame goes out. At that time, we want to go ahead and set the turkey in. That way, if for some reason the oil did overflow, there's not an open flame underneath of it. So you want to simulate setting the turkey in there. You want to set the turkey down very slow into the oil. It may bubble a little bit. If it starts bubbling a lot, just lift the turkey back out and start to ease it back in. Once we've got the turkey in, we want to place the lid on the pot with our thermometer. We want to turn our gas back on and relight the flame. And we want to make sure we maintain our temperature between 350 and 375. It is okay to lift the lid off to check how things are going, but the lid um, is good for it because it keeps the oil from bubbling out. When you are frying, we want to make sure that you're not in, in, first of all, you're not anywhere in your house, you're not in your garage. Do not fry turkeys on your porch. And you want to be at least 20 to tw 25 feet away from your house when you set your fryer up. On behalf of myself and Kyle and the Salisbury Fire Department, we'd like to wish you and your family a happy and safe Thanksgiving. And at this time, we'd like to review the major safety tips when frying a turkey. Do not fry a turkey inside your house or on a porch. Be at least 20 feet away from the house when frying a turkey. Keep children away from the turkey fryer at all times. Make sure your fryer is on level ground. Remember to measure the oil level with water prior to frying your turkey. Remember to turn off the flame when putting the turkey in the oil. Long sleeves and gloves are recommended to prevent burns on your hands and arms. For more information, you can visit the National Fire Protection Agency's website at nfpa.org backslash education.